What's going on everybody? I'm YouTube's ProBJ and welcome back to day 19 of This is the Police. Alright, we are getting into... I think someone said this goes up to like... I think they said like 30-ish days. So we're getting close to the end. I mean, we've got a couple episodes left, but we're getting close to the end. So, uh... Everybody shed a tear. It's almost at an end. But we still got a couple episodes. It's fine. Let's read our newspapers. Uh, Robespierre, I'm pretty wealthy, but deeply unhappy. University of Freiburg tuition costs to decrease. That's good. Mayor calls prosecutor's office to check, uh, this is the new, like, supervillain or some shit, isn't it? Like, the new criminal in town. Uh, Robespierre, I think, statement, uh, for extremism. And, as usual, Jack with his shit car. Right, yeah, it would be great if I just get an upgrade at the end. It would be really nice. Yeah, just saying. I'm just saying. Um, let's go for a bit of country blues. Why not? Actually, it would be city blues because of the, uh, the cover, but fuck it, I knew what I meant. Alrighty, right. Let's see how how uneventful this is gonna be. Oh, and someone pointed out to me um, that it wasn't fire or female cops. It was higher. I was just stupid and not reading it right. Here's my city hall. Higher Asian cops. Um, a Japanese businessman who must remain nameless will soon arrive in Freeburg. The city. Hopes to sign a major contract with him. As I guess, he will examine many of our institutions, including the police station. His visit is scheduled for August 5th. Please take care to ensure that at least three Asian officers are working on that day. When's August 5th? Ah, oh, shit. Isn't that tomorrow? Bomb threat. An irate lumberjack by the name of Grisham Frank claims he has planted the bomb in the cathedral. He says he'll blow up the building and everyone inside unless the police arrest the priest. Apparently the priest convinced his recently deceased wife to refuse treatment at the hospital. And asks for God's help instead. Uh, Stavall. This is pretty serious. Samadhi. Fitzsimmons. I can't send in any SWAT. Those three should be able to defuse the situation, hopefully. And if not, then... What kind of cups are you? <laughs> no, I'm still enjoying this series. I'm still having a lot of fun with this series, and I hope you guys are too. From what I can tell in the comments, you guys are still having fun with it, which is good. Because I, I, I kind of get scared doing these kind of series, because I feel like they can fizzle out very quickly. Um, and I feel like you guys could lose a lot of interest if I'm not, like you know, quick with it, and I'm not, you know, getting to the point or anything. But thank you guys for sticking with this series. I appreciate it. All right, the cathedral is full of visitors. Uh, find, the find the priest and begin the evacuation. Announce bomb threat and order everyone to evacuate. Deploy all forces in attempt to find the bomb. Find the priest and begin the evacuation. An improvised explosion device has been discovered under a pew near the altar. Um, ensure the cathedral has been evacuated. Offender court officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. That's what we like to see, Dream Team. That's what we like to see. Mwah, smooches to all of them. But yeah, thank you guys so much for sticking with this series. I, I'm incredibly appreciative because I, I actually really love this series. And I love getting to play more of it, so thank you. Oh, a monk. Chief, some guy in rags is trying to enter the police station. He says he's a Tibetan monk and he wants to speak to a patrolman about the nature of violence. Should we let him in? Yeah, whatever. Um, a drunken teenager encouraged by a group of friends stripped off his clothes at the cash register and attempt to purchase a, a pack of condoms. It seems like some sort of hazing or a rite of passage. That's a weird rite of passage. Alright, Stavall and... 
just devolve, really. I was going to say, I was going to send two, but I was like, eh, do I really need to? I think Staval can handle it. Oh, it says it down here, the date. It's August 2nd, so I have three days to get three Asians that are working. The Sands need help. Uh, as a safety precaution, we've decided to change all the staff that work on the ranch. We just hired eight new maids from a neighboring town or city, but the bus they were taking got intercepted by the Vargas Punks. Teach them that even maids can't be trifled with. All right, let's send Vandal and Samadhi. Again, I feel like helping the Sands mob is going to be good because then we've got that alliance, we've got that relationship. So I know that, like, things aren't going to get out of control with the other... Defend the court, officers unharmed. Good. Um, with the other crime family... They're a bit of a loose cannon. I don't know what the fuck's going to happen. If they take over the city, all hell could break loose. But I think with the Sands, I could actually help them, which is good. Uh, the hockey team that Mr. Sand owns is is getting ready for an important match. Ice Arena is closed during training hours, but stadium director just reported some people in strange clothes breaking into the arena and climbing onto the stands. All right, well, once Deval gets back, I shall send him. Open a can of whoop ass. Good on you, Staval. Pretty breezy day. I was expecting much worse, to be honest. I feel like these days are getting easier, or maybe I'm just getting better at the game. I know, I know. Miracles can happen. Me getting better at a game. That's a miracle. Um, assault. A crazed woman just rang in. My god. This wrench is going to kill my baby. Uh, please send everyone you can right away. Bandar, Samadhi, and... Let's get Grant in on this. Yeah. Well, that way everybody's had a go. You know? It's, a, it's all about sharing. Just say it. It's all about sharing. Do I, st I still have the open investigation, don't I? I do. The theft. I don't know if I've got all of the information that I need. That's the problem. Um, yeah. Oh, that's the officer. So is it like that? Or is it... Hmm. I don't know what this is going to be like. I don't know. Is it this, then this, and then he gets the brick, or he finds the window and the brick. I have no idea. No, because the painting's still there. So it'd have to be... Ooh, this is tricky. Is it something like that? I don't fucking know. I'm probably waiting on, like, another frame or something for it to actually make sense. Or maybe I'm just stupid. I don't know. Both of them are very, 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 very likely. Assault. Uh, elderly woman's cat got in a fight with the neighbor's dog. The dog ran back at home when four other cats jumped out, and out of the house to the rescue. You made me send someone because you're... Fucking cat got into a brawl with a dog. Just waste of police resources. Oh, attempted murder. A woman driving past on the bridge saw two thugs grabbing a skinny guy by the legs, hanging him over the bridge railing. The man was struggling and shouting. Let's send everybody we got. I'm sorry, Vendal and Samadhi, but... And Grant, but you weren't here. And we have to... <laughs> We gotta act fast. Oh, as people die. <laughs> Nobody dying on my watch. I say that. I'm pretty sure that someone died in one of the previous episodes I've done of this, so. Here we go. Offend the court. Officers unharmed. Civilians unharmed. That's what we like. We like a harmonious ending. Great. Can my guy go to sleep now? <laughs> It's sleepy time. 
No, no sleepy. Oh, we can go sleepy. All right. Ah, oh, I am just crushing this, aren't I? I'm doing good. I'm helping the sands out a lot. Um, da, 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 da. how many Asians do I need? I need three, right? Oh, fucking no. I don't even know if I'm going to do that. That just seems... It seems wrong to kind of do that. Like, to get rid of some cops just for a guy that's, like, coming to fucking inspect the town or something. Uh, Freeburg to host exhibition of children's drawings. Construction of new school postponed again. Sorry, I have an itchy nose. Uh, new federal law allows criminals to launder money more easily. That's fucking stupid. Who would pass that? Just make it easier for the criminals. Because apparently crime isn't... Percy didn't come into work. Oh, I want to put you on the chopping block, Percy. Can I give Percy a big old fuck you? You know what I mean? Oh, story. We haven't had a story for ages. Boyd. Is everything okay, Jack? I'm not calling in the middle of a job. No, 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 you're okay. Did you find her? Yes, yes, I found her. Nothing shocking, don't worry. She's living with an insurance agent in the suburbs. Oh, this is the mother. This is my ex-wife? He has a funny car, you know, like in that movie where that... Did uh, you talk to her? Yeah, we talked. More like I talked and she basically cried. Aww. God, she hasn't cried so much since high school. You know, she was dating this boy from a restaurant and, oh, oh, what was his name? And so, then I, Laura, she'll be back? Of course she'll be back. She just needs time. Aww, time. Thanks, Sally. You mean once she gets tired of screwing the insurance agent? Yeah. Jack, you're talking about my daughter. Yeah, I, I know. know. I just, I want to... I know. Well, I, I just wanted to come back as soon as possible. Oh, Don't Jack, worry, with, your, with, with you. your woman problems. You just need a little patience. I know it's asking a lot, Jack, but you really just got to be patient. Wait for my call. I'm All waiting. Right. Again, I'm waiting. I'll wait for the call. Yes, understood. I know the situation is asking a lot from you too, Mrs. Markham. Thank you. And please call me anytime. Uh -huh. Jack? Yeah? You okay for money? Excuse me? Uh -huh. What do you know? Where the papers were talking about your resignation, they said you and Laura were a little tight. And I thought maybe you'd. Good God. <laughs> oh, Jesus, that scared the shit out yeah. of me. I was like, I wasn't yeah. expecting that. <laughs> that was loud. Like, all the dialogue was quiet in that. And then as soon as he hung up the phone, it was like. Pfft. In my ears, it scared me. I was I wasn't prepared. All right, let's go for a bit of shopping, chopping, Ch chopping, choping. I don't fucking know. Anyway, let's get on with the day. It's another quiet day here in Freeburg. Does it sound like Bane? Ah, oh, yes, Freeburg is wonderful. Don't know why I went for Bane. Disorderly conduct. A young mother reported an old man in rags entered the playground, climbed the hill, and began shouting, the universe is made of s of suffering and hatred. It would kill all of you. The outraged mother, the outraged mother rather, shouted back, go away, you're scaring the children. Kochi Asano. My dream team. Kochi and Asano are like, are like, pure gold together. Wow, that's the first time we've gotten, like, a, st a, like, a cutaway scene in, like, what? Four or five episodes? <clears throat> it's insane. I actually kind of forgot that there was a story to this a little bit. Anyway. Disorderly conduct. Offender court. Officers unharmed. Awesome! That's what we like to see. Bomb threat in the ghetto. An anonymous tip just came in. Some thugs are messing around with plastic explosives in the basement of an abandoned house and are handing it out to children along with toys. Let's well, send SWAT, McNally, Yancey. And fuck it, we'll send Price as well. Because Price needs to learn. That's all the Price is there for, to be honest. They should be able to do that with SWAT. Hopefully. Could be wrong. This could all come back and blow up in my face. I don't fucking know. 
What do we got? Oh my god, the situation is more serious than we thought requesting reinforcements. Kochi! And Asano! I need, a, I need at least two officers here, so... Just in case another call comes in. Which I'm guessing it will, because... This game don't play by the rules. Although, this bomb threat's taking up most of my day. Yeah, there we go. I knew there'll be another one. Two trucks collided on a country road near the forest and police were called by a motorcyclist who was driving past. He said that one of the trucks rolled over and caught fire, but the driver managed to escape the flames. He grabbed a stick from the side of the road, set it on fire, and is now threatening the other driver who has locked himself in his truck. Purdy and... Ah, fuck it, all of you can go. I don't care. Oh good, bomb threat is over. What happened? Offender court, officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. That's what we like to see, Dream Team. We found some explosives. I am not giving that to the Mafia. <laughs> what kind of cop is this like... I want some extra money, here's some dangerous explosives. That's gonna make my wife a fucking living hell anyway. Uh, the wife of the young banker, who recently helped us make quite a substantial deal, just caught up in tears, saying some creeps corn cornered her husband in a garage, says they tied him up and are threatened to light, it, light him on fire. Vargas goons, no doubt. That's okay, I'll send Kochi. Kochi's good. Or not. Uh, the driver is... Brandishing a, a burning stick like a torch and striking the other truck's windshield, attempting to get to the other driver. Um, uh, put out the stick with a fire extinguisher. There we go. Easy. Simple. Non-violent. Alright, coach, you get in there, please. We need to keep our alliance with the mob kind of good. Especially right now. Because uh, if Jack retires, which he will, but when he retires, uh, everybody can go in on this one. Um, when he retires, the mob might be able to do a little bit of a deal. You know what I'm saying, Sam? They probably won't, but still a possibility. Who'd they leave here? Austin, Purdy, and oh, yeah, the other three. Okay. Some associates of Mr. Sam were planning to meet and discuss the Vargas situation. The meeting was supposed to happen in a forest outside of the city, but our scouts saw the group of punks hanging around. Sure would like to see the look on their faces when the police roll up out of the blue. Purdy and Austin. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if anything happens. Uh, Tsubaki, but, oh, this is the armed robbery. Everybody's safe. That's what I like. Jewelry. Oh, I'm going to ask the Mafia to sell that one. Just so that I can get a bit of cash going. Oh, here we go. We've got three new frames in the detective case. Here we go. All right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look here. Um, hmm. uh, he's walking around. He does that. He picks up a brick. Goes through the window and takes the painting. Or not. I don't fucking know. Well, maybe he's not even in this at all. Maybe it's just like... Him, there, 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 and that. I don't fucking know. Uh, I don't know any of these. I'm hoping that, like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm hoping. Or maybe he, like, Walks in, does that, and then I don't fucking know. I don't know what I, I I don't know what I'm meant to be doing here. I'm just guessing. It's 
So I'm doing. Um. <sighs> Window was broken and the canvas was cut from the frame. No trace of anyone around. Just a brick laying on the ground. Okay. Well then that one's out. Obviously. He steals it and then... Brick? I don't fucking know. Um, I don't know. It's hard. I don't fucking know. I'm not going to worry with the investigation for the moment. I'm too stupid. But anyway, let's talk. Let's talk about something that we don't know. I mean, that me being stupid is pretty much common knowledge at this point. What the hell is wrong with my hair today? Just like doesn't want to stay in that one place. It's like, girl, mm -mm, girl, no. All right, end the day. There we go. Do I get more story? I'd like that, please. I don't think I'm going to do what City Hall wants. I, I couldn't care less. Oh, we didn't get any more story. Anyway. I'm going to leave this episode here. Um, we are moving into the final couple of days. I might start doing three days, maybe, depending on uh, how much story and everything comes about in these last couple of days. Um, yeah. It should be fun, though. We're, we're very close to the end of this series. But for now... Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to favorite it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. Guys, helps me out a lot. There are links to my social media in the description box. And as always, there's a link to the perfect game. It's still down below. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. And until next time, I'm YouTube's Perfect Jan. Peace out. We have eternity together And as lovers we cannot help but drown in all the ecstasy it's in the way we fight, it's in that sweet surrender, I'm drinking in your poison.